The week of February 20th, Grand River washed into drainage systems all around the region. The Grand River watershed received rainfall paired with snow melts and warm temperatures, which led to the flooding, compounding that with a number of ice jams. Cameron Linwood, the communications coordinator of Grand River Conservation Authority, talks about what precautions were taken during the floods. Flooding is something you can't necessarily prevent, but you can manage. So uh, during that event, we obviously saw uh, saw it coming in the forecast, so we started our systems working, so we started notifying all of our local communities um, throughout the watershed. A press release by Environment Canada stated that total rainfall amounts in Waterloo Region were recorded between 40 and 60 millimetres. This time of year, the Grand River Conservation Authority operates seven upstream reservoirs which were able to hold back those water flows upstream. And they released the water slowly after the event had passed. Cambridge witnessed flooding as a result of an ice jam that was released upstream. Steve Klein, a resident of Cambridge, talks about how unusual this event was. It is the first time I've seen that. I've lived in Cambridge most of my life and we've experienced different floods, but I've never seen the ice chunks like that covering the whole road. The Blair stretch of Grand River between Blair Road and George Road was closed as it was covered with huge chunks of ice. The ice jam also affected lower portions of the Speed River downstream of Riverside Park alongside Blair Road, which was closed for traffic. St. Jacobs also had some bridges being closed as there had been increase in water levels. The water levels of Grand Rivers are decreasing. For Spoke TV, I'm Varsha Sriganesh, 